Welcome guys, Mark Miller here with Watsika Ford Lincoln here to tell you how to turn off that very annoying seatbelt shine when you don't have it plugged in. Uh, viewer discretion is advised though because it is illegal not to have your seatbelt plugged in in the state of Illinois. So maybe if you're not in the state of Illinois, we can uh, accommodate your needs or uh, if you'd like breaking the law. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Um, first things first, we're in a F-250-16, um, just letting the model and trim. Um, it's a four-wheel drive. I'm not sure if it's going to be the same on every vehicle, but just for example purposes, we'll do it on this one. So um, you can always find it in your handbook here. If you go to your uh, your handbook in your vehicle, it will tell you under seat belts, and it will tell you under the deactivating and activating the belt reminder feature. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So it's telling me that the parking brake needs to be set. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Parking brake set. The next one is the transmission is in park. It is. Um, the ignition is off and the key is in so we'll go ahead and turn the key in here all vehicle doors are closed which they all are right now and the driver's seat belt is unbuckled which is what you can see i don't have it buckled here so i'm going to go ahead and switch the ignition on do not start the ignition is what it's telling me i have to wait until the seat belt warning light turns off which will take about a minute so you get to see me for the next minute so we'll go ahead and wait here it's still not a minute yet um, it's saying i have to wait until the seatbelt warning light turns off um, and I must complete step three within 30 seconds so it's kind of like a race it's kind of intimidating really it's uh, want to make sure you don't mess up because it could take a while to restart um, let's see here so after the warning light turns off which it's still on there I have to unbuckle the seatbelt three times at a moderate speed um, and then leave it unbuckled until the light comes back on so let's see if I can do that here without messing up get my seatbelt ready to go. Oh, nope. there it goes. So, let's do one, two, three. It just came on again. So while the seatbelt warning light is on, I'm gonna have to buckle and unbuckle the seatbelt and it should flash. Look at that, perfect, it's flashing now. I should have just turned it off. The switch, the, uh, the switch will, uh, the feature itself is actually turned off now. So that's pretty much it. Pretty simple and easy to go. I'll go ahead and start it on up now. As you can tell now, I gotta remove the parking brake. Thank you so much for reminding me. But if you take a peek up here, I no longer have my warning light telling me that my uh, seatbelt is off and I can go driving around the lot now. Ready to rock and roll. No annoying chime for me. Come see me, Mark Miller, Watsika Ford, or tune in for more how-to videos anytime. Thanks guys.